Welcome to MOAD Talks. I'm Paul Rogers, Curator of Public Programs and Education at the Museum of Art and Design, Miami-Dade College. In this program, internationally famous artist Martin B. Nuheen dialogues with curator Jose Luis Blondet about the thought and practices behind her brilliant conceptual and performance art and her methods and approaches to engaging participants and audiences all around the world. Please enjoy the talk. Well, first I want to, to thank uh, the Museum of Art and Design at Miami Dade College and uh, Isabella Villanueva, curatorial advisor, and Paul Rogers, who helped organize this conversation between you and me. Uh, and this conversation is in the context of the exhibition, The Body Electric, uh, a show organized by the Walker Art Center that is now touring and is um, at the Miami Dade College uh, museum, and it's a show that explores uh, ideas of the real and the virtual, the body, and the representation of the body in media, and of course, a show like that uh, demanded a work by Marta Minohin. Um, I would love to see it, but it was yeah. impossible. Pandemia yeah, times. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, me too. I would, would have loved to see that show. Um, I am not... Uh, daring, brave enough to attempt to introduce Marta in two sentences. Um, in but I'm sure you all know Marta. Um, but enough is to say for this conversation that Marta is uh, still a very active and prolific artist, but she was also a pioneer in the use of multimedia installations, um, and exploring the connections between art and technology. And of course, uh, in, in her fantastic happenings. So in today's conversation, um, Marta suggested that we focused on some of the projects she did in the city that are around simultaneidad in simultaneidad. And those are Circuit Super Heterodyne, the Minufone and uh, the Minucode. So, uh, Marta shared some images from her archive uh, that we put in a PowerPoint. Thank you, Paul, for setting up that PowerPoint. Um, and I think we can use those images to, to keep the conversation going. So the first project that we are gonna talk about is Simultaneidad in Simultaneidad. Uh, and that was 1966, right? Yes. Um, and it premiered in an Instituto de Tela, de Tela in Buenos Aires. And that was a, a Marta Minujín project, but she enlisted the help uh, of Alan Capro from New York and Wolf Vostel. Uh, we have some images. Um, yes. Can I tell you that it really was a 24 hours happening around the world because uh, I had to, the project was, I have I do my happening in Argentina with with media well, then he does it in New York and Capro mm. in in Berlin. And we mm. were doing actions that we continue twenty-four hours. By, but my happening was so complicated, he said, I will do one action from Bostel and one action for Capro, the same action he was doing in in New York and and, the, and Bostel was doing in the, in, in Germany. But my, my, what I invent was so complicated that I never did mine. You of see, course. I did the Bostel, in, in a TV channel, I did the work of, of Bostel that was half a cow with, with uh, how do you say, with agujas, agujas. Needles. Needles, que los clavaba en TV, in, in open TV. And Capro was a Mercedes band covered with cream and a rock and roll very famous group a linking with the with the lengua, uh -huh. with the lengua, with his clean tongue, the car, uh -huh. the car. Mm -hmm. and I was doing my happening that, that take one week to develop because it was not instantaneous the the video that you can do. So I I invite if you want I tell you I invite sixty famous people because his faces were more reproduced this year in the newspaper. They had to be very famous so the people recognize. And I invite them to come dress twice with the same clothes. So the first time they will be record, they they were recorded the voices to to them uh, project in the radio when they were mm -hmm. in. 
the back was filming on video, and, and also the, they were filming on the face uh, to be broadcast for, for TV. So the like a close-up, right? What? They, 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 they were able to see a close-up of themselves. No, no, no. The, no. the first Monday, they were filmed everywhere, from the back, from the front, recording to kickball radio, and they were filming all together with all the TV sets. Mm -hmm. The following week, the week of October, I don't remember, the one that we did the three happenings together, 24 hours, and we speak, and we ask the early bird and all that, uh, they, they will come back to the same room, walking in the same order, they will have a radio that you could see the radio mm -hmm. into their voices broadcast by the radio station, but they already so they were surprised. Like, like they said, mm -hmm. you are you are you are that one. And so it was kind of a deja vu, like they would witness something that happened to them the week before, right? No, yes, they, exactly close again. Uh, the clothes were the same, and the order where they sit was was the same. So as soon as they arrive, they will see. They're back in video in the school, in the big screen where I was talking with Capron Bostel. They will see themselves on the projected slide with the radio, and they will see themselves projected in two TV channels, themselves on television. Same time, the images were from Capro and Bostel and me. Mm -hmm. That was the idea to, to bring back their own images and, to, and the invasion, como una invasión de los medios mm -hmm. de comunicación. Invasion. So that was, uh, that was uh, I have a question. Um, I mean, in the photograph you sent, we saw the script for the invasion instantanea, no? like that you yes. said, I am Marta Minujin, I'm invading your place. Or, um, so this was one of the three performances that Bostel- no, no, my, my performance really was the big one at the okay. Instituto de Tela. And there, you could also have that, Many, there were many things happening. That, that's what it was called simultaneous and simultaneous. Like I take the two, the whole city of Buenos Aires, mm -hmm. because I already was very famous because I did Venezuela, so I got two TV channels, four radio stations, and mm -hmm. also the way of communicating with Capra and Bostel. Mm -hmm. So everything was broadcast, like in 10 minutes, and that, that, that was it. But mm -hmm. the happening mm -hmm. continued 24 hours with this, with the people sitting there the second time, well, then they were tired, they left. It was a real happening. But mm -hmm. they, they saw themselves on television for the first time because mm -hmm. like, you don't see yourself on television. I made a TV program in, in that room, you see, to broadcast it. So mm -hmm. that's why Capra Postel, they ne never arrived to do it that in the, because it was so expensive to find mm -hmm. 60, he said, 65 more people, 60 telephones. 60, I don't know, everything 60. Yeah, it's funny because even now that uh, video technology has evolved so much, it could be very complicated to do that too. <laughs> so the <laughs> fact that you managed to set that kind of operatic uh, was very, media very event. No, the yeah. problem was to, to get the money to do all that. Like I do, I, I find everything, everything I got, I did it by free because the people were so enthusiastic about the 24 hours happening, you see? Mm -hmm. So the 60 TV set, the installation, everything was done without money. That's what I always do when I do my big, event, my big events. I don't get any money from this, and no one gets any money, but mm -hmm. the, the act exists, it's born. Mm -hmm. So that was fantastic I'm happening. And this happening was uh, create the idea of doing this, this is happening together because I was already living in New York and I came back in the summer of New York here, mm -hmm. so I came there in October and we meet and we were really three friends, Capro, Bostel and me, we were discussing all those, mm -hmm. all those mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it was very interesting because I did it in the, in the happening, we, we, we became friends in a happening world by Nanjun Pike and Charlotte Murman in a boat going to Staten Island, talking, mm -hmm. and he was naked with the ice cello, or everything. <laughs> we were, we created a happening there. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, so you arrived in New York in 1966 with a fellowship, a Guggenheim fellowship, right? First of all, uh, we did 
the teleprice. I arrived at the end of, no, no, I, I, I arrived in 65. 65, 65, okay. 65, and then I came back to Argentina for the summer Argentinian because mm -hmm. I got one round trip ticket from the Tela from the price that I got with, with cast, what it was, Clement Greenberg and Restani and Romero Brez, they were the, the jury, and so I went to this place with the mm -hmm. mattresses, this price, one year in New York, then I got the Guggenheim, another year in New York. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. okay, okay. Because something that really amazes me is the fact that you arrived in New York um, and very quickly you kind of connected with the big players of the scene. Yeah, I mean... Uh, the art world was very small at that time. And you, they immediately will find... Nobody could believe that I was a pop artist coming from Argentina. You see, I was very surprised. And I was a woman and I all that. that. Mm -hmm. So Andy Warhol came immediately. I show mm -hmm. in the Akini Gallery that the Akini mm -hmm. Gallery was was a partner of, of Castelli, mm -hmm. and the secretary in the gallery was a, a Linkchester wife. So mm -hmm. immediately I met uh, all the Murcigan and all the... Yeah. And we were all friends and all very poor, but it was a very good time. And, and you felt totally welcomed in that community too, and supported, I guess. No? Immediately, because they were not business in any art. Nobody mm -hmm. at that moment has, has, has money. In 1965, mm -hmm. nobody has money. Mm -hmm. It's funny, I, I'm asking this because uh, in preparing for this conversation, I was looking at the dates of these projects. Um, and at LACMA, the museum where I work now, there is that famous exhibition organized by Maurice Tuckman and, um, and Jane Livingstone in 1971 called Art and Technology. And this was a project that began in 1966 where this curator started a partnership between artists and corporations to engage in a conversation was, between art and technology and all of that. That was uh, Billy, Kluger, Billy Kluger, Experiment in Art and Technology. It yeah, that's in New York, but at LACMA, in the in the late six in 1966, they launched this initiative, Art and Technology, and that resulted in an exhibition. The exhibition was in 1971, uh, and and this is kind of shocking now. But the 14 artists that participated in that exhibition were um, male artists. Uh, so in contrast, when I think oh, how. Mate how welcome you were in New York and you were able to um, collaborate with all these artists and engage in these ideas of art and technology. It's really amazing. So it's really um, impressive that, I don't know, that we were friends you connected, media. yeah. And also Robert Rauschenberg, he, was, he started later, later with technology mm -hmm. and, uh, and we learn, in, we, we teach at New York University with La Monte mm -hmm. Yard, Les Levine. Mm -hmm all those people, and they were fantastic parties. And, and all the time we had fun. It was, a, it was mm -hmm. a real party in New York through this, this small place. And Nan mm -hmm. Pai was one of my best friends, Nan Pai. Yeah, we fantastic. did the people that were lost. But it was, uh, uh, simultaneously, simultaneously, was fantastic because then came in the cover of Tulane Drama Review, and Michael Kirby came, and Susan Sontan came, and we were all Speaking about the new way of communication, I even, I even went to see Marcia McLuhan to mm. tell him about the happening. And he saw that was perfect. So I think <laughs> that was fantastic. The whole thing was very exciting. Some people didn't understand nothing, but mm. it was all right. In the, in the files that you sent, uh, there was this short video about simultaneidad and simultaneidad. Um, so let's let it's really short. Let's watch that clip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. In April 1966, Marta Minuhin, the German Wolf Vostel, and the American Alan Capro created simultaneous events in their own countries. The same day, at the same time, individual happenings were locally composed by each artist. Marta Minuhin presented Simultaneity and Simultaneity. It was performed in the Ditele Institute. The participants were very well-known public figures. 
At the hall, with 60 TV sets and 60 radios, they were filmed and photographed. Ten days later, they returned. Each of them, with a TV set and a radio, could observe his image through the different mass media. The participants were told that the event was taking place at the same time in New York and in Berlin. Each happening connected with the other two by telephone, teletype, radio, and the early bird satellite. Okay. Um, uh, the next project that you wanted to touch base today is the circuit super heterodyne from 1967. Um, I had no idea what uh, heterodyne was, so I googled it, uh, and it's a like a signal frequency so it has to do with telecommunications and uh yeah and dialogue between machines and things uh do you have any any info that you want to share about the title of this project what is a super heterodyne yeah, something to do with the computers and with mm -hmm. the technology and uh, how can you use that that was just a crazy term because also mm -hmm. the name mm -hmm. of the performance of the happening was Circuit also. Yeah, okay. It's like the, the name of a band that's super heterodyne. It's really, really pop no, in no, its no, own no. way it, too. It, it has been inside the machine. I don't remember very, very much, but you see, I went to Montreal and I started working with those gigantic computers. Uh -huh. Like one big room was one computer to select people to put some questionnaires on the papers. Uh, asking people to fill it up and they will be selected by the computer to come mm -hmm. into the So it was a fantastic questionnaire where the people answer according yes, here is the questionnaire. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, that was it. So uh, participants fill out a form, a questionnaire, and, and based on their answers, a machine will, will assign them into the groups. They will, they will select the people more fanatics about one meet. Like was like could be Marilyn Monroe, Frank Sinatra. Who are the, the the people who you like the most? You do you have photographs in your room? You mm -hmm. oh, you are also run with photographs of, of this person. You dress like this person because some, it was some crazy people. They were select, and then they were when well, then more things happen. Mm -hmm. But also was thirty thirty TV three. That was a concert that I did mm -hmm. with uh, four eight famous people, but very, very famous from Canada, and they mm -hmm. will see themselves on mirrors, they will see themselves on the TV set, and they were a concert, making a concert with all the voices speaking between them. That was mm -hmm. a concert. What, was, what kind of celebrities were there? Like intellectuals, athletes? No, no, like the big box, boxer, a boxer, okay, okay. the ah. best actress, the, the, the mm -hmm. best politic, just different people talking between them. And that was a concert that you project in the other room that was in George, George Williams University. They were things very, very complicated to explain and also mm -hmm. to do. But it was yeah. a miracle, a miracle. I stayed one month there and I got everything by free, the paper, the newspaper, because the people were very much interested there. And also because Marshall McLuhan is, is uh, from Canada, so... That, that's a concert of the eight famous, eight famous people talking by telephone and watching themselves on television and, and, and on the mirror, just to make a comparison. And in the other big room were, the, the, were like 100 people, 30, 30, 30. It was very complicated, but was very interesting because the idea was to, to bring, yeah, you see, the image back of themselves. All the time they, they were getting... They were getting uh, the image of themselves through the media. Mm -hmm. They disappear because you have all the media projecting them on the space. So actually the real people disappear. Mm -hmm. And all the noise that technology produced kind of occupied the space of people. Of course. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in a way, I mean, what that machine was doing, I, I don't know any, I don't understand the technology, but whatever that machine was doing, grouping people according to their answers in the questionnaire is not dissimilar to what the Facebook algorithm does. Maybe. You know, like Facebook really knows like 
what oh. kind of interest you have and based on that you are bombarded with advertisement or um, yeah. yeah because I, I I use the computer to select the people and also I follow first of all in simultaneously secondly in, in Montreal and then in Minuco the same mm -hmm. always, mm -hmm. always they were uh, at, como se dice fan on the, on the newspaper they were those questionnaire crazy that people will fill it up and will be selected yeah. by the computer to come into American society or to come in Silver William University or to come to the Tela. Mm -hmm. Always work by select the computer select them. Mm -hmm. like and uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I read some place that also in the second room, I believe, there were uh, movies being screened, like Citizen Kane or something like that. No, no, they were. I don't remember that. I don't okay. remember. I remember that I, they were selected by group, and the people mm -hmm. were together, and mm -hmm. they filmed them and they put it on the screen. Mm -hmm. But it also mm -hmm. maybe possible, like they were. They were. I don't. Remember. Something I love about the image we are looking at right now is that you you see I don't know like the ghostly presence of technology. It's like like harmless uh, father. I don't know. It's like a big ghost. Uh, yeah, really the over these people. You see what I find that the people were really des disoriented and, and confused. In the two happenings I did, like simultaneity and this one, they were completely lost. Lost. They didn't, I don't know, they were lost because things happened very fast, like in half an hour, and that was it. And the people didn't understand. They were there in big screen, they were there, there, they were there, there, they went together with the people who look alike. So it's very confusing, and that's what I like. Mm -hmm. They were very, the situation of put the people very confused just by find, finding themselves mm -hmm. everywhere, everywhere. Mm -hmm. And in a way you were uh, tapping on this idea of celebrity culture. Yes. Uh, and, and I wonder if that was something that you encountered when you moved to New York. I, I have it in Argentina because I, uh, always I, I was interested in how many times appeared the box in, in the and press. I, and, mm -hmm. That's why I became friend of Andy Warhol immediately because he had the same idea that celebrity become part of my, uh, part of my work. Were the celebrity without celebrity, I could not do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way, your 15 minutes of fame have lasted a long time, Marta. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> the Minuphone, 1967, and this was shown first at Howard Weiss Gallery in New York, in Midtown, like fifty something, right? Yeah, um, fifty was fifty seven. Mm -hmm. Where well, well, was before when I show El Bata Caso because Castelli, um, Bianchini, they have a gallery there. Uh, everybody was showing there at this gallery that was very pop uptown. So. Mm -hmm. I, I, I got with the Google Sign Grant, I invented a telephone that now doesn't have any sense, but uh, people in New York used the, the telephone booth just to mm -hmm. express themselves. To, they were surrounded by, so they were completely upset. They lived inside the telephone booth. So I proposed that I, I create with the help of EIT, Experimental Art and Technology, and I create mm -hmm. something completely electronic that put green water come up and, and run down. Uh, mm -hmm. Black water, you see yourself in television, one polar, I take a picture of you on television and you get it in the way out. You have an echo. Many things happen inside when you call someone. So mm -hmm. then people came completely surprised and confused. Again, confused. Yeah. So it was not only about the telephone and the idea of talking to someone, uh, no, but also the space, come. right? Like the, the cabin, the telephone booth. Things uh, inside. Yeah, See? lights and smoke and uh, and each number had assigned a special effect. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I have seven effects, but in a, in a different, a different combination every time. Uh -huh. in uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> and, and people were standing on top of a monitor, right? Yeah, yeah, you People, start, yeah. So you they know, would see themselves. Then them, you have your face in your feet, mm -hmm. and also a screen come down and black light came in, and you got to scream because it was an ultra sensible screen. So you can put your at the same time you were talking, 
you were uh, created shadows there that get got impressed, and you get the, the, the Polaroid picture, and you then a recorder that you listen to your your talking five uh, five seconds later. Uh, there was an echo. There was uh, all all effects mm -hmm. to track the conversation. Mm -hmm. So they, and it was it was a real phone call, right? Yeah. So they dialed the number and something happened. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, all the time happens here, so he was he could not even talk, but he talked. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was very good. Yeah. And then and, and can you tell us something about the images we are seeing on the screen? Yeah. That you I mean I believe it's a test of the Yeah, I will the, do it the middle phone. A new jersey I was building the telephone booth. And what I see there is the water coming up black. So in one moment, the whole wood become black. Many things happen. I was putting the TV screen. The, mm -hmm. It has a platform, electronic platform that you have to do. No, the people, when I showed it in New York, the people were crazy because everybody wanted to go in and to make it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then the telephone wood disappeared completely. Mm -hmm. so. And it's, it's interesting because in the three projects that you had mentioned, the 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 circuit, simultaneidad in simultaneidad, uh, um, and even in this one, um, you insist on the spectator uh, being aware that oh, this is part of this. Like, you, uh, it's yes. kind of, oh, you like are confronted with your own image as an expect, spectator. Always, all always. The time. And your own react, reaction. Even now, I am very interested still now working with all the universal meat and all that, always the people has the last word. The, it's everything mm -hmm. is for the people, and the people have the last word. Take a book, take a picture Polaroid, the menu phone. Mm -hmm. the, the protagonista is, is the public, mm -hmm. always. Yeah. It's funny because it, it, you sometimes call them the participant, but the participant is also the spectator. You know, like, it's kind no, of a no. double role. You are participating in this but you are the spectator, you have the image of yourself kind of swallowed by uh, media. Uh, I don't know, there are, there are so many no. things going on. No, I don't want people to be a spectator. I want people to live intense in intensity, to go to the work and get intense, and by instant, take a part of the, the work and bring it to their houses, but never as a spectator because they know when, when they see one of my work, like the part in one of book, forbidden books in documentary or whatever, they know that one of those books, he's going to pick it up. So mm -hmm. it's always like if I do a gigantic work and the people come and, and the mm -hmm. work disappear. Always the, the people that I, by the, the destiny of my work is the, peop, is the public. Yeah, How but, but when you look, I don't know, when you, 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 you participate in the Minu phone or uh, in any of these projects, and you see yourself as your image in the work. That's what I meant by an expectation, yeah, 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 not yeah. in the most traditional you way. You are but... a picture of yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. You, you look yourself in the mirror, and who is in the mirror? You. So <laughs> this is. I mean, looking at this photograph of the Minu phone, I wish you come up with something for Zoom, and we make these Zoom meetings <laughs> more fun and with special effects. And <laughs> but that was more exciting because the people was something so new that the people were desperate to participate. They yeah, were yeah. going crazy. And then they forgot immediately, like it was the case of Minu Coast, that they forgot immediately that they were filmed. They would mm -hmm. come and say, I know, they filmed it, and immediately mm -hmm. they like the making the movies, they forgot immediately what was mm. going on. Nothing yeah, did. you were like making them aware of their image in media, right? And yeah, and I love this one. This this was a prototype, no? This doesn't have to anything to do with the final telephone that was used in the Minuco. No, no, no. I have a telephone, a telephone booth. Mm. Yeah. You know, I have a telephone booth. Yeah. Yeah. A big telephone like this, yeah. Yeah. And then uh, the Minu Code, 1968. And um, this took place in the Center for Inter-American Relations in Europe. That is now the America Society. Yeah. And this is uh, where I met you and Isabella Villanueva. 
that no, we I worked together know. in the show that I co-curated with Gabriela Rangel uh, with the Minuco, that it was such a fantastic uh, opportunity to use the same space where this Mino code was made in 68, I don't know, that was 2010, 50 years later, or almost 50 years later. Um, yeah, we were so, so round, I don't know, I, I made four cocktails with different people, select by computer again. Mm -hmm. the, the and there was also a questionnaire, no? Mm -hmm. Yes, a questionnaire, yeah, on the, on the newspaper, and, and then, all the answers were in the computer again to select the people that they would invite. Like I wanted the top 80 people from economies, 80 people from politics, 80 people from fashion, 80 people from art. And mm -hmm. then the people came every day, the last day. Every New York, all New York knew about the content, so I, I still I have in 80, we have like 150, the people became crazy, the artists, Charlotte Woman played, Naked with a cello, mm. the people were sobre excited, more than excited. And, and groups were not mixed, right? Like one oh, cocktail no, was no. for business people, the other one was for artists. Yeah, but they know each other because one, yeah, yeah. like 80 famous people, always with the famous people, all uh, 80 famous people, but they know each other because in the fashion world, everybody knows everyone. So they were very happy and they forget you had a six camera filming from the ceiling to the floor. So, mm -hmm. and then finish. Like we had three waiters with champagne and that was it, walking and they were filming 20 minutes, every cocktail mm -hmm. was what was happening. So some, uh, like the economist came, few people and dressed in, yeah, the extraordinary thing that happened is, is that the, I feel with the same kind of film, 60 millimeters, same kind of film. When we were broadcast that, each film has a different color. Like politics was more like black because everybody was dressed in black. Economic brown. Uh, fashion was like pink. And artists was all kind of color. So it's fantastic how the people even behave according to what they do. You see, this is fashion, by instance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can tell. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. That was a director at that time. Yeah. That was a film. And, mm -hmm. and the projections were before. Yeah. Then they will come back and they will see themselves on the walls, same size, and they, they, were, and they will be 10 minutes surrounded by economists, 10 minutes by politics. And they were surrounded. So again, the same uh, idea of the deja vu, right? Like, okay, I've been here before and I see and, myself on the wall. And you see what is nice that uh, the Museum of Modern Art there in New York bought, buy the, this work and they go yeah, to- Yeah, it's part of the MoMA collection now. Congratulations. Yeah, and they're going to show this film uh, very shortly, like I believe oh. at the end of the year. Yeah, yeah, they mm -hmm. will broadcast it. Uh, uh, so the people we we surround, but now the people was were very sixty people, sixty sixties, mm -hmm. different people than now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I bet you this is from the fashion cocktail too. Yes. No? <laughs> yeah, that that was Viva Superstar, the friend from and uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. all those people. That was the fashion. Yeah, it was very interesting. But for me, the best was simultaneity, and simultaneity. It, because it was so gigantic, the dimension, using the early bird, talking at the same time, like it was impossible to talk by telephone because the telephone that you got to mm -hmm. pay a fortune to make a call to Berlin or mm -hmm. whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so it was at three countries happening, right? Yeah, Two yes. places at the same time in three countries and... Um, well, yeah. very Something that I, 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 I love you telling us more details about especially simultaneidad in simultaneidad because it's, it's it's so unbelievably complicated like so many things were going on uh, and i love the fact that you were um able to orchestrate that yeah. massive performance yeah because uh, it was very difficult and the people should enter in order 
to not become anxious. They got to find the yeah. same seat where yeah. it, it was before. Everybody But also the audience, participants really have to commit to do this. Yeah. It was not this, you know, like you have to commit a lot of time. You have to come back. You have to wear the same With clothes. The same you were clothes. wearing the, yeah. It, it's kind of a, it's not Maybe. just like showing up. <laughs> it was a, a, a really a commitment. I, did, yeah, I don't know how I did it, but it happened. It was fantastic. Because I never thought that the most famous writer is going to, because I asked, they will be the same clothes as the last, last man there. And walking in the same place and putting the radio and listening to his voice. So it was very, very fantastic. Yeah. And, and for Simultanidad and Simultanidad, uh, didn't you have a phone conversation with Bostel or yeah, something yeah. like that? Uh -huh. I have a phone too, but using yeah. the early bear because through a radio transformer, I don't know how we did, and using mm -hmm. the early bear, in one moment we all communicate, the three of us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Because that's another kind of big theme of all your work. I think the idea of connectivity, the idea of aligning all these collaborations, these partners into, into one big project. Uh, no, I mean, your projects are not easy to produce. No. They are not easy to, I don't know, like, and I think the next image is about the Parthenon books, which is also a big... Um, a big organization, a big event. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So can you tell us a little bit about this image? Ah, uh, yeah, that was the first, the first part of here in Argentina when the military went away and mm -hmm. democracy came. 1980, 1983. 1983. 83. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I have 30,000 30, books. They were all hiding in the houses of the people and the people donate all those books. So people all donated the books for the Parthenon, okay. No, no, so the editor houses, they got oh, the editor. Mm -hmm. guy under, under, I don't know, very, very in the box, for, no sé, en, casa, en Caja Fuertes, mm. escondían los libros por, because they could, could get killed just for, for having mm -hmm. a book. So they hid the books in, in a safe or yeah. something, so the police the editor, couldn't the editors, find editors, anything mm. about that, uh, oh, Gaga, the whatsoever, everybody uh, hide the books eight years or seven years. And so they break, they bring all the books. It was a miracle because we did it without any money because the people were so uh, happy the, the, the military disappeared. So they all bring me like 30,000 books, 30,000. And then I, I got the, wow. the credits, the credits by free and the structure. Yeah, it was a miracle. That part mm -hmm. was a miracle in Argentina. Mm -hmm. The second part I did it and like how long was the Parthenon up in Buenos Aires? Five days. Five wow. days. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It was beautiful it. because I got the lights. People could not understand that that monument exists. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. It was half, half the size of the real Parthenon. The Parthenon in Documenta was the same size as the Parthenon. 22 meters high and wow. 77 meters wide. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it, it made a lot of sense also in Documenta because one of the themes of uh, Documenta was kind of the invention of art history and the invention of Greece and the invention of antiquity. So yeah. it was kind of great to have the Parthenon, uh, a massive yeah. presence of the Parthenon with all these censored books and It, uh, it was very diff difficult because 70 countries sent by boat the books wow. to, mm -hmm. and then by, by truck all the books to Castle. And mm -hmm. also people who live in Castle where they were burned by Hitler, all the books, the, the Frederic, wow. no, people did, put the books uh, in the park, donate all the books they were also hiding uh, mm -hmm. in the, mm -hmm. in the So it was, it was very difficult to do because it was such a gigantic work. No? Was gigantic. And they were like wrapped in plastic. I remember I, I saw it. But yeah, yeah. So you were still able to, to read the titles of the book and see yeah. the wear and tear of each book. So each book had a story. You could imagine who owned that book. How was that book hidden for a while? Um, yeah, I love that project. And it uh, was a 
fantastic book uh, that was for Guantanamo book that some, some edi editors or eight, like 60, 70 books of, called Guantanamo it was so fantastic because the book was forbidden to do so they they put black pages and they edited either way with all the black spots mm -hmm. that they were forbidden so it's a, it's a fantastic exemplar that I, I, I have that wow Guantanamo. Now you see in Guantanamo now it's only 40 people and everybody wants to eliminate Guantanamo, but Guantanamo mm. still exists. Sí. Sí. And I think, well, here you see how the books were presented. And, and you know uh, that, that now, Jose Luis, I'm going to do a new one with uh, the, the Big Ben lying down in Manchester, mm -hmm. covered with political books. With, with, so with, the Big Ben, the, the, the Big Ben Tower in London, laying down. Yeah, lay down and the people come inside and could see how he fly to, to Manchester. And also because they have very competition between the two cities. And always Big Ben was a symbol of the strait. Or, 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 I don't know. For something that the Manchester people doesn't like. So they will have their own, uh, the same Big Ben lying in the, in the park. Her with cover with all the books and they will grab the political books. No, it's very, very, it will be very interesting because it's 44 meters long and then five by five. It's very long, but all very with books. Yeah, mm -hmm. like this. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I done soft tower. No, I, I done many many things with book already, like four works with forbidden books or mm -hmm. different. Mm -hmm. I like to do, to create with mm -hmm. books. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But also uh, the image of the tower uh, flat on the floor, like similar like, to the project yeah, with the obelisk. I, I did before with the obelisk. Uh, I have projects for the, for the tour and fair lying like, down. Lying down all, all meat, universal meat, where people find... Uh, ah, for the Statue of Liberty, right? Of course, the Statue of Liberty. Yeah. Now, that next project, I have mm -hmm. to... But uh, with hamburgers, I, I always do something that the people consume, like the panettone obelis, and the people grab the books. Mm -hmm. uh, they bring the panettone, I say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, from there, but always is an adventure. Always finish very yeah. strange. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I, I know you are pressed for time, but I don't know if you if you want to share with us uh, the work that you have made during the, the quarantine and the pandemic. I know you have been very active. I, I work very much in just pandemic was terrible. I did it. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, now we are also in a, in a, in this problem. In a lockdown. Yeah. Uh, so I was the whole year because we have eight months engaged. I did just one listening to all the news, all the news, just one gigantic painting, I could say, it's a gigantic collage of many black and white, black and white and black. It's like a black with a projection that is all of us engaged. And now I, I am doing wow. another, a new one that is called uh, vacuums, vacuum, vaccination, global vacuum. Vaccination, uh-huh. Global vaccination, because now I listen, vacuum, 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 vacuum. <laughs> Before was was este, COVID-19, COVID, COVID, COVID. And now so, it's vaccine, vaccine, vaccine. Yeah, yeah now it's vaccine, vaccine, all the time. But it's terrible. What happened now is a real happening. Yeah, yeah, global, yeah. Happen, very global. Through yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah, I mean, there is some progress, but this is an ongoing issue. And, yeah. Anyways, but... Thank you so much, Marta. I, I don't know if you want to add something. If... No, it's all right. I would like to go and see the exhibition. But... Me too. Me too. But I think the exhibition is coming down soon. So well, we, at least we will look at the photograph. Yeah. 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 Okay. Goodbye. Thank you, Marta. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.